16 years as a correspondent at 60 Minutes in CBS, 35 years in journalism. Did I ever think I'd get to this place? No, I certainly did not. But I can tell you after spending you know, two decades on the battlefield that I'm disgusted by the coverage of Ukraine and the blatant manipulation of the facts and distortion of history and everything else. I mean, <clears throat> I'm gonna say at the beginning and I'm gonna say it once, nobody wants the people of Ukraine to suffer. There are innocent people there. They were caught up in the fighting as they are in every war and it's heartbreaking to see them suffer. However, what I am also very much aware of is that there are people in this country and other places who are quite happy to bring that suffering to all of our doors and <clears throat> to insist on forcing this into world war, you know, a bigger world war and a broader conflict rather than de-escalate and, um, and deal with it honestly. And sure, there's disinformation on both sides, no doubt. The Russians are good at it and so are we. However, there are certain things here that are true and we need to ask more questions about them. For example, when Putin says that he's going to uh, rid uh, the Ukrainian military of its Nazis and we all jump up and down and say, oh my gosh, you, you know, that's not true because look at all the hundreds of thousands of Jewish victims of the Holocaust. Well, absolutely, there were hundreds of thousands of Jewish victims of the Holocaust. And you know what? They weren't just killed by Germans. A lot of them were killed by Ukrainians because Western Ukraine backed the Nazis and was a headquarters of the Nazi SS. And when you see that black son of the occult on the uniforms of Ukrainian soldiers, and by the way, not just one battalion, not just a handful of soldiers, look at the, the, the pictures of female Ukrainian soldiers being lionized and you know uh, sort of worshipped by the, the US media, right? They've got that black son of the occult. Now, <clears throat> why is that significant? Well, that was another emblem of the SS, wasn't it? Because there was an occult dimension to the SS that we, again, don't like to talk about typically in our history. And why is that significant? Well, go to the Azov Battalion in the Ukrainian military that is funded by the United States and by NATO. Not only do they have the black occult as the background of their logo, but they have the sideways lightning symbol of the Nazi SS. So these are not you know, random things. They're not arbitrary. They go to the foundational core of who this unit is. And I love how Jen Psaki and the media and all these other puppets <clears throat> love to say, oh, well, it's just one unit. Imagine if there was a unit in the United States military that had the emblems of the Nazi SS as its defining, you know, logo and, and was pictured holding up, you know, uh, Schwarzenegger flags as the Azov Battalion is pictured.